Hello, hello, I'm Chris with the Legacy Team, and today we're going to produce another candlestick variation. This is a rope twist. We're going to show not just the cutting demonstration taking place on the CNC, but also how fast and easy it is to program this design in Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro software. To kick things off, we're going to make some sawdust by turning the stock round. Now all the cutters that will be shown during this cutting demonstration are from Magnate.net. All the turning techniques shown during this cutting demonstration were pioneered by Legacy's team back in the early 90s. We were able to figure out how to use the shapes of cutters to machine stock to any design application. You now have the same benefit, not just with Legacy CNC machines, but built into Legacy's conversational cam pro software that gives any user the ability to create any design they wish. Here are some varieties of the candlesticks that we have produced. You may have noticed that the top profile and bottom profile designs are identical across each design. Um, and the only thing we've really switched out is the main body of the design. For example, we have flutes, we have contours, the hollow spiral and barley twists, and even some rope twists. And that's what we saw here in the cutting demonstration. So we're gonna be doing the rope twist uh, tool pathing today in Conversational Cam Pro. Let's see how easy that is to produce. So in Seatcam, we're not going to actually lay out every single toolpath in detail, but I do wanna show the highlights of how simple it is um, to run through a single toolpath um, with the rope twist process. So let's show what we already have done is the candlestick holders have already been produced. And if we look in the, under the turning center, I have all six variations already programmed. If we click under the rope twist candlestick holder, Here's the tool pass already laid out. Um, everything from the turning round, the uh, two profile cuts with the barley twist, and machining the flat shoulders with the quarter inch cutter. The only thing we're missing from this list is the actual rope twist process. So let's add that in. If we go to manage tool pass, we can add to our existing list. If we go to spirals, here's our drop down. We have a rope twist process, and we can click add, and that adds it to our list. Now let's place that in the sequence where we want that to be. I'm gonna make sure that's uh, before the uh, flat shoulder cuts and after the barley twist profiles. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the barley profiles on either end of the, of the cutter. So the rope twist is between those two processes. Uh, so we can close that and now we have a highlighted section saying we need to go input some data. So we'll click on the rope twist process and here, the first thing we need to fill out for information is the cutter that we're going to be using. You saw in the cutting demonstration a what's called a rope twist cutter. So if we come down here to our rope twist cutters, we were using a one inch diameter rope twist cutter. And we can select that tool, and that is going to be tool number three in the sequence. Um, the first questions we need to answer is where does the rope start and end along our x-axis perimeters? So if we go here to our drawing board, I have a drawing for us. Um, this is the blank in a 2D fashion being mounted in a four jaw chuck. And here we have a origin or the center of our graph is set up for this location. And all the parameters are being programmed and measured from that point forward. So we can look at our design here and we decided that we wanted the center of our rope to start here right on this edge and the end of our rope to end here along this edge. Now it's going to bleed um, out of the uh, profiles here on both sides. So it really doesn't matter if our starting point was more or less than this. I just made sure it was more than what the um, body entails. So this starting position is 0 0.5337. Let's go input that in our starting point, 0 0.5337. 
And the ending position is here at the end point of 3.2999. So if we come over here to 3.2999, um, the starts are already set at three starts. That's what we actually saw during the cutting demonstration itself. And the last parameter we need to fill in is what is the diameter section this is being turned onto. Looking back at our drawing, this diameter that this is being um, twisted onto is 1.035 inches. So let's put that parameter in here of 1.035. We have now finished all of the information we need and we can finish and save. And with all the toolpaths now updated, we can generate our G code and it combines everything into one and we can, this is the actual program that we saw running during the cutting demonstration. I hope you now have a better understanding on why all turning centers aren't created equal. By using Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro turning software, it makes it so everybody can create custom designs in literally minutes. Now, if you're interested in getting more information on Legacy CNC systems, or perhaps joining some of our community events like live online trainings, you can always jump on our website at lwmcnc.com. If you're interested in talking to a CNC expert who can answer your questions, or if you're a legacy CNC customer and you want to get a licensed copy of Conversational Cam Pro, then call 801-491-0010. If you want to see more video demonstrations like these, click right over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check that notification box. So you can be notified when new videos like these come out. And as always, thanks for watching. But remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.